Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just want to start this video by showing uh, some of the new fish I picked up today. My clown loaches haven't really seen them in this tank a whole lot. I just fed them, so they're coming out to play. But I picked up these guys. Um, let me get a nice group of them. The uh, they're called Red Miner Tetras. They're 80 cents a piece at PetSmart. Not bad, you know, four for or five for four bucks. That's that's not bad at all. You know, nice little school school of fish. Um, you know, nothing really special with this tank. I neglect it more than I should. Um, got a little bit of brown algae growing on the back there. Need to, you know, scrape that off. It's not bad. I I don't think I've scraped this tank once for brown algae. Um, and it's been set up for you know several months now. So, it's not really a problem in this tank, but. Uh, not not a bad deal for fish. Got picked them up at PetSmart. They had some uh, Fourth of July sale. Um, just happened to go there today and found that they're on sale. I thought about getting some tiger barbs. I like those, but uh, with the long fins on the angelfish, I didn't really want to take the chance and mix those two together. Didn't want the angelfish to get all mangled up, and you know, they're kind of the, uh, the showcase of this tank. Um, all these other fish are compliments to the uh, to the angelfish I like them being the main feature of the tank um, but yeah not a bad deal on fish at all 80 cents a fish can't beat that um, also wanted to make a point on the uh, 55 gallon African cichlid aquarium here um, excuse me I had to move the food I was sitting on the top of the tank uh, I think B it was BM that did a, uh, a video talking about you know he was about the spray bar on the top of the tank, um, and about the you know the little film that's on the top of the tank. Um, I think him and I see it a little differently. Um, I think uh, it's actually kind of a good thing because it traps a lot of the stuff. What you see now, just floating there—that's just air bubbles. Um, about that film. It traps a lot of the stuff that you know might get through the filters or something like that, or keeps debris, you know, from falling down into the tank. Um, I think it may have come. I have some water clarifier uh, clarity. If you can see that, that's good stuff, by the way. Clears up your water real quick. Real, uh, excuse me, real quick. You know, if you do a water change or something like that. And also, these filters have been through hell, so. You know, they've had sand stuck in them and stuff like that. Marine Land BioWheel 350s. Um, so every now and then I have to, you know, put a little oil on the impeller to um, keep it going, keep it running smooth. So I think that might escape out a little bit into the, uh, into the water. You know, oil is less dense than water, so it's obviously going to float on the top. But, uh, yeah, I seem to think it's a good thing. Um... Ever since I, you know, I oiled the uh, the uh, impellers on these, and uh, I dumped in the clarity after I painted the back because you know dumping in the water kind of kicked up a lot of the stuff in the uh, in the substrate. What that does basically the clarity is it binds all that stuff together to be sucked out by the filter, which is it's awesome. I'd show you guys, if, but I don't have a messy tank right now. It's crystal clear. Um, but it's kind of it clouds up. I mean, it makes your tank look worse for you know 20 minutes. But then after that, you can just see the difference. It's great, great stuff. I swear by that stuff. Um, so if you got a cloudy tank, try that. It should clear it up. But yeah, the oil film or whatever's on top, I seem to think it's a good thing. I mean, obviously, it hasn't harmed the fish at all. So, but it seems to keep my water a little bit clear, and you know it's easy to get off the top. You know, you can just siphon it out with a water change or get most of it out. But yeah, I kind of I don't mind that. I have a slight one. It's I know you're not gonna be able to see it in the video really. Um, and find a spot where like the filter is breaking it up. Not really too much. See if I stick my finger in there. There, you can kind of see it or right in here where it's breaking up there's a little bit of film in there but uh... yeah it doesn't hurt the fish at all 
you know, like I said, I feel like it traps a lot of the uh, other debris and stuff, you know, dust and whatnot that might fall into the tank. Um, but yeah, it's just one guy's opinion. You know, by no means am I right about everything. Don't claim to claim to know everything, but well, thanks for watching.